Yeah. Welcome to grad night. Welcome to grad night. Why is it not typing? Welcome to grad night. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> this car. How do you get rid of that? This car. How do we how do we see the thing, man? Here we go. We're live! Wave it everybody! Woo! Yeah! I was gonna, I was gonna try to get Zach's phone so I can make sure it is live and real. It is. I can see it's live. Okay. Awesome. That'll be much better than last year. I'm gonna do this.
you just go in the middle of it, see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like the most badass movie ever.
Yeah, we, we wrote it. It's his song. We wrote it. Um, the second song I played Honestly, this is a song, we originally were trying to write a song for Jason Derulo, but we were connecting with a publisher who was working with Jason Derulo. And we, we, we like, he had this more progression, he ripped from a video song, and we were like, oh, this is dope. So we wrote the whole song in like 15 minutes. Probably more like an hour, but it felt like it. It felt like it was hope we're not like... Hey, Zach, are we in the shot? Are we? Oh, we're not in the shot. Let's go! So we were writing a song, or attempting to write a song for Jason Derulo that we wanted to pitch to him through a publisher who works with him. And we ended up writing a totally different song. Not at all Jason Derulo. Not at all Jason Derulo. Uh, we couldn't really uh, capture his vibe. So we ripped chords from a video song and wrote a song about uh, going to a high school party. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty much it. So what else are you guys going to sing tonight? Um, we're singing a song called, well, this is our song, and then, and then as a Chase class, is playing every other song is set for a songwriting class. Not every other song, but there's a song called Sunday Swishers, which is kind of like this hip-hop conglomerate with a bunch of guys in our class. There's a song called Going Down South. It's this crazy, like, western, like, four girl, revenge like, girl song. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. There's a song called Best Night of My Life. It's like an anti-party song about how you don't want to be at a party. Um, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be great. Nice. So, you guys have been going to Dark Horse for how long? I've been here for like a year. Yeah, yeah, been here weeks. Yeah, yeah, weeks. weeks. So, tell them what Dark Horse is like. Dark Horse is great because of the people you meet. You will be able to connect with a lot of different people. Um, I mean, even, like, I've been here a year, and I'm going to tell this, like, 12 weeks ago, and we're like, you know, buddy, we, we do stuff all the time, we write stuff Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so who's, who's this guy, who's this guy right here? We're bringing him in right now. Oh, man. We go great people. I mean, great people right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up? Hey, Hello, people in internet land. So tell them about, about tell them about what you guys do. Yeah, for the last couple of weeks, these guys have been writing tons and tons of songs. They've written killer songs. It's gonna be super exciting because they're about to perform them, and it's a, it's a good time. Good, good group of guys. Awesome party time. Sweet rock and roll. It's almost time for the show, so get ready.
more. We got two more here. We're going to talk about the class and what we learned and everything else. It's wonderful. Music. Take it away. So, one thing that I really enjoy about music business class was uh, we got to interact and actually do uh, first hand things and be hands on. Not only did we learn out of our textbook, but you know, just being hands-on, it really brings a sense of what it's like to work in the industry, and so uh, that I'm just very grateful for. Yeah, so basically, uh, you get a lot of uh, in-person like guests that come in that are actually in the industry, and I feel like that's a really uh, important part of it all, just actually talking and connecting with these people who are have done like uh, music business like their whole lives. Um, I like the projects that our teacher did with us. It really gives gives you like a perspective of. Um, uh, like how to manage a tour, like you, know, you have all the budgets, and it's just a really good example of uh, what you might be seeing in the real world. Yeah. Cool. cool. Awesome. Well, it's time for the show, so we're going to go. Hey, so I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, another great class. We, we, we got a chance to pitch to Apple and to Dirty Tigers and to Boxy and to uh, Ava Booking Agency and to some uh, lawyers and that kind of stuff. So we had a real, I mean, it was a really, really productive time. And I'm, I'm thinking someone's going to get signed up this, uh, this round, so we're really excited about that. And we just want to party and celebrate with you. And we're gonna, I want to turn it over to our master of ceremonies, my star pupil, the youngster of the group, Mark Brandon. Yeah. I like to say, uh, youngster, I'm not. I'm probably the oldest student to ever take a class there. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, appreciate being here. Appreciate you all being here. Uh, we've got an exciting lineup tonight. Um, we're gonna start with uh, the songwriting class. And we have various acts, and really excited to see what these uh, folks have got for us. So, some great stuff. So, let's go ahead and put Thank you. 
Miles of Sunday Sisters. Up next we have, drum roll please. I forgot who we had.
Next up, we have a little. Uh, uh, it's going down south. Uh, we're gonna have four of us come up with a lot of other people. So give us just a few seconds. It didn't work. It's all good.
This song is called The Best Night of My Life, and it's about how the worst night of your life can probably be the best night of your life. For another train, some already questioning how many people are staring at the bottom high. They can see it in my eyes, couldn't help it if I tried. Mini cocoa parts outside, I wish I could try. It's just amazing. Um, as you, when you hear her lyrics and how deep her lyrics are, um, you'll understand why uh, these uh, executives were very, very uh, excited about her future in this industry. So without uh, further ado, Caroline Moore. Up with a song called Obsessed. So I hope you're obsessed with it. Yeah. 
somebody to show you better.
my ladies who said about that. Oh my lord, what a, what a great time. Um, I think we all know exactly what we just witnessed there. And I think you can understand why these uh, record label folks this morning were practically in a fist fight after seeing them. You know, trying to figure out how they get on the Jebby Freight train. So uh, anyway, great job, Jebby uh, and Tony and, and Miles. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a little break here while we switch over. So make sure you go back and grab yourself some tacos, grab yourself some drinks, and uh, we'll be right back in a few minutes. Thanks.
Every day I'm one less to be so 
Okay, so that, thank you so much, Aaron, for uh, playing keys for me. This next song, uh, I was not planning on playing today. Um, and the reason I'm in a band is because I can't really play instruments. So, you know, I get other people to play for me. But um, if you were in my dad's class that one time, you guys have already heard me play piano. And so, uh, Love I'm going to apologize to the rest of y'all because it's a little bit of a mess. But you know what? It's going to work. This song I wrote um, for my little brother, who I love a lot. And yeah, hold up, y'all. Please pause for the cause. Thank <laughs> you. 
You got that? Uh, that I
Colin Chu Trevor. Next up is Colin Cox.
Yeah, this first song is about nothing like most of my songs are about, but it's dedicated to Lemmy Kilmer. <laughs>
gorgeous. Have a great night.